Hi everyone, I'm Alice Maples. We are gonna get started with our warm up. Let's get going. We're gonna go for some big open arm rolls, inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. Next, we're going cross body reaches and then bringing in those hips into lunges and then some guitar swings. I just imagine this is like a guitar solo and then sweep and dramatic roll up. Next, we're gonna go inhale, open up, and exhale, double pulse, deadlift, squeeze that booty. Inhale, the arms up towards the sky. Double pulse, inhale up. Legs are kind of a slight bend in the knees, and then you're kind of stretching the back of the legs there. Next, we're gonna do a standing forward fold. Ever so slowly, gently rolling up. Next, we're going for some cross body knee drives. Beautiful, we are doing this warm up and then we have an awesome workout, 12 reps with 30 second cardio bursts in between. So we're gonna drop down low, double pulse, and then reach up towards that sky. Double pulse down low, reach it on up. Toes are wide, booty is low, heels are more narrow. Excellent. Next, we're gonna kind of do a straight leg lunge a little pulse here again we're just kind of open just open up those hips the back of that body and then just kind of wiggle and roll and bounce through just getting some blood flow so that your body is prepared next we're going to go for a back step lunge with a lateral reach back step lunge lateral reach really getting into the hips and the side body again again everything ready to go Roll it on up, and phenomenal. We're gonna start off with our two weights, and then we're going for a deadlift, and then into a bicep curl, and then into a squat. So it is a deadlift, bicep curl, into a squat, bicep curl. Okay, excellent. So you can see here the difference and feel the difference between a deadlift, which is a kind of more of a straight leg, and then a squat, which is more of a bent leg. So the bend comes from the knees on the squat, okay? Deadlift, back of those legs here into a bicep curl, squat, dominant of the front of the legs. Beautiful, keep breathing, keep smiling. You have got this. Way to show up for a workout. Way to show up for yourself. Next, we have our first cardio. And this is a high knee. I was straight up in like quicksand there, so pardon all the moves around. Good. And we've got some dramatic Hollywood effects with this. These waves in the background. Oh my goodness. And some co-stars, those birds. They are just absolutely adorable. I'm really glad none of them hit me in the face. <laughs> anyway, 30 second cardio burst here. Whoa, tipped over. <clears throat> Next, we have got a kind of like a, oh, almost like a kettlebell. I think kettlebell on this one. So we're kind of hinging forward. It's like a hybrid deadlift squat. So bring it on up and push it on up. So it's a kind of a shoulder press at the top. Hinge move that arm and then overhead press if you're like this is too complicated you could go into a kind of like a squat into an overhead shoulder press single side love single siders great for balancing out the body getting core without doing an ab or a crunch love it love it so much beautiful keep it going keep breathing keep that Spine nice and tall, switch to the other side, into those hips, and then overhead press. My palms are facing towards me, and then at the top, my palms are facing away. Good job. Hinge, 
and overhead press. Beautiful. Single siders are 12 reps. going for crisscross jumping. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I cannot, cannot see straight here. Okay, so arms are crossing in front of your body and then legs are also crossing and alternating. Okay, the, so you're gonna get nice and bouncy. And then if you were to do this without bouncing, you can kind of just cross your leg in front of the body. So take a step and then kick it out in front of you. All right. Good, working all the different parts, upper body, lower body, and that heart. Great, 30 seconds goes by so fast, it's awesome. Okay, next, we have got a side knee drive, side knee drive into a push-up. Ooh, yeah, these are tough total body ears. Side, side, drop it into a push-up, okay? You can do the knees down like I did, or you can go for a standard push-up, okay? Excellent, knee drive, knee drive into a push-up. Beautiful. Choose your adventure here. Thank you so much for joining. And even though it is hard on these, on these combo exercises, this is such a short workout, you can totally do this. So keep it up. Amazing, you are done. Next, we are going into some good old jumping jacks. 30 seconds, nice and light on those feet. My non jumpers, you can just kind of go alternating side taps with the overhead arm reach. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice job, almost there. Keep it up, so close, and done. All right, grabbing those weights again, okay? So, just one this time, and we're gonna go into a lunge plus an overhead tricep extension. So tuck your tailbone under, keep your shoulders down, but your chest kind of high. Okay, abs are in, stay low in your lunge, and then bend those elbows, and then the weight comes back behind your head. Whoa, this is a tough one, especially after those, that cardio session. Excellent. So really keep squeezing. Let's switch to the other side. We do 12 reps each side. Tricep extension plus this lunge. Love these combo moves. We're working balance, glute, quads, abs, triceps, oh, you know, we, we, we try to deliver here, deliver here. Keep breathing, and amazing. This one's gonna be fun. We're gonna go down low, stay low, and then into a pushback burpee. Keep it low, keep it low, jump back. All right, so this is lateral shuffle. Hands come down, pop it back, and bring it up. If you want to throw in a push-up, by all means, go for it. I think I, I, I think I just left all my juice on the last push-up set, so I'm not doing that. But you don't, you totally can. Okay, don't let me hold you back. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so keep it low with these shuffles, and then pop it on back. All right, great job. We are cruising along in this workout. Is any workout complete without some some booty work in it? I don't think so. That's why I always like to include it. Okay, so we're gonna go put the weight behind the knee and we're gonna kick it up back behind and then out to the side. So up and then out to the side. 
heel towards the sky, out to the side. Good. Squeeze those abs. You can go from your hands on this one or you can put a forearm down. So I'm kind of doing the forearm method on this one. Kind of switches it up a little bit. Keep breathing. Keep that beautiful smile rocking. When we work out, endorphins are released. Those are feel-good chemicals. That's just like it's just a natural way to make yourself feel really good. So if you can join us every day, find something to get your body moving, you will be and feel amazing. We're gonna go to the other side. And we've got, I like this one also because it's also great for your abs as well, because you really gotta stabilize as you're going through. So again, we are going out to the side and then kicking up. Now, if you had some circle bands at home, you could put those around up above your knees if you like. And then if you're like, Alice, this is way too heavy to keep on drop. The weight does not want to stay behind my knee. That's fine. You can go without it. it it's still a really nice workout. Okay. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Amazing. Okay, we got our next cardio. Okay, I call this one the football player. This is just like what I imagine they do at their practices. They just go, whoa, and then fancy feet. Okay, so nice and light. Stay low. It's like you're running in place, basically. It's like a, it's like you're, it's like a, a running squat. Keep your chest high. Keep that booty low. It's kind of like lava. So imagine lava. Okay. Run. You can add in some little twists here. I'm not sure if you're working on as, as on sand as I am. Um, that wave was really big, and I'm really glad I didn't see it when I was working out. <laughs> and done. Okay. Next, we are in the home stretch. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, uh, since we're on the beach, we're gonna go into a side little crunch here. Okay. I was going to go for awkward seal, but it was, for some reason, it was just too hard in the stance. We're just going to go for a little side crunch, which is super tough, super awesome. It's almost like, kind of like a side pipe, too. So we're doing 12 each side on this one. So switch it, other side, and crunch. So you're kind of resting on the side of your glute on this one. And then if you... I'm using the sand um, with that supporting arm, but you can use a towel or you can let the, that arm float. I think I'm gonna start building a sand castle maybe next. Oh, just kidding, maybe not. Okay, this is our last move. It is a horizontal jumping jack. This is our finale, just 30 seconds. Keep a slight bend in those arms. Keep on pushing the ground away from you. So good, so good. This is it. Give it all you've got. You can hold a plank, you can go from a knee plank, anything. Just stick with me. Almost there. And oh, you are beautiful people. Let's go to a, onto our booty and then we're gonna cross our ankle up and over our knee. I know for some this is a very tight move so be patient with yourself get that nice stretch you can kind of look down this feels nice for your neck as well beautiful let's switch to the other side flex that foot turn and then look down nice deep breaths Put those feet together, knees apart, and then hinge and melt forward. Again, your, di your melted diamond might look a little bit different than my melted diamond, but just feel that nice deep stretch in the deep glute, in the deep booty. That's what we're talking about here, kind of like the side where the, the leg attaches to the hip point. Next, we're gonna go for a little bit of a belly stretch. Channel your inner seal. 
I know this is a sphinx, but they, this is kind of how seals look. And you can alternate, bringing the heel towards the booty. And then shift those hips back, find your child's pose. Take some nice deep breaths into your lower back. Curl those toes under, downward dog. Walk those hands back and then, so you're gonna drop those hips down low. We call this a malasana or a garland pose. It's basically like a deep squat. If your ankles or Achilles aren't super loose, that'll be hard, but inhale up. Look at those rainbows. Oh my goodness, it's magical. Thank you so much. You're amazing. I'm Alice Maples. See you next time.